Shalom kapatid. Are you in the middle of something big today? Maybe you are in a middle of a project or you feel you need more resources more than what you have. Middle of a journey and you feel you need to go further and your fuel tank seems running empty. Or in the middle of a dream and you're getting confused, paano ba aabutin ito? Or pwede din, middle of a job and you feel you don't have what it takes anymore to keep it. In Exodus 4, si Moses po was once in the middle of a big calling and he felt the huge challenge. Sabi po ni Moses, what if? What if they do not believe me or listen to me and say, the Lord did not appear to you. Yan yung sa verse 1. Moses is just like you and me. Sometimes we see ourselves taken to a new horizon or new level. Ang tendency natin ay mag-doubt sa ating mga sarili. We start doing quick accounting not on what we have, but on what we don't or what we can't. What if like this and what if like that? Then this question cripples us in doubt and fear. And we got stuck right there in the middle of our unfinished business. Relate ka ba kapatid? Tanong natin, what if? Pero ang sabi naman ni God, what is? In verse 2, then the Lord said to Moses, what is that in your hand? Napatingin si Moses sa kanyang kamay. Sabay sagot, a staff. Alam mo ba bakit nagtatanong si God nito? Did you know that God is also asking you today what you already have and not what you think you don't have or want to have? God is asking you not because He doesn't know the answer. He is just asking so you would know. Sometimes kasi kapatid, we tend to think, it is too hard I am not qualified, I don't have the training, I am not properly equipped, or simply, it's just impossible. Or sometimes, it is just that we desire for more, craving to prosper more, thinking more is always better. Ganun siguro talaga mentality if wala tayong idea how great God has blessed us already. Andiyan na sa kamay mo, andiyan na sa tabi mo, pero hindi mo pa rin na-appreciate. Kaya kung minsan, nalilihis pa tayo ng direksyon sa kahanap ng iba. Throughout the Bible, God has a wonderful habit of using whatever a person possessed if that person would simply yield it to God. Eto, sample natin. Among many other items, ha? God used a stick, a slingshot, a coat or a couple of pennies, a fish and some loaves of bread, jawbone, rock. Our Almighty God is able to use any ordinary object that is yielded to Him in faith. The process is not complicated. Ganito po yun. Number one, examine your hand. Just look in your hands or tingnan mo what you have already. Number two, empty your hand. God said, cast it into the ground. Sometimes, this is the hardest part for Christians. Even when the possession is so small and seemingly unimportant, it is human nature to cling to that possession. Kapatid, gustong makita ng Diyos if His children trust Him enough to let Him have it. So will you? And number three, enjoy God's hand. Once Moses let go of the stick in his hand, God used it to be an instrument of making impossible possible. In God's hand is the power to multiply what you already have. In God's hand, He can make us conquer our mountains and reach our dreams. Ito, payo lang po kapatid. Learn to count your blessings. Mag-self-inventory ka at makita mo na meron kang sapat. Huwag mo munang maliitin ito. Just present it to God and learn to entrust them to Him. Surrender natin ito sa Kanya and paggamit natin. 
subukan mo at magugulat ka. Kala mo wala lang, pero grabe pala ang pwedeng magawa nito sa buhay mo at sa iba kapag hinipo ng Diyos. Be encouraged with this. Ang sabi po in 1 Corinthians in chapter 1, verse 27, God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. God has placed you already in a position to enjoy, to celebrate life, and honor Him. Kaya kapatid, bago ka maghanap ng iba, o humingi ng panibago, o magpadagdag, check mo muna. What is in your hand? Amen po ba?